Rogues, Part 3 I eye the handsome stranger up and down warily, unsure of how to approach the situation. He has Mita in his arms, making her the hostage in this situation. How do I get her back? As soon as I lock gazes with him, however, I'm ready to burn the house down. I have a fourth mate? He's staring at me with expectation? I take a deep breath, tuning into his emotions, before realizing this man wants me to come to him right now, to choose him. Good thing I don't care about what he wants. It's only when I finally manage to rip my eyes away from him that I realize my true mates have been trying to talk to me, and I've been staring at a fucking rogue. Who the fuck are you? I ask not wavering in my aggressive stance. The rogue's eyebrows shoot up, indicating that he's shocked by my lack of affection. That's the sort of hello you give your mate, he questions. My three true mates growl from behind me, releasing an overload of testosterone into the atmosphere. The moon goddess made a mistake, one that will be fixed. Give me the baby. No, The baby will be staying near me. I let out a growl before setting a rogue next to the man on fire. Or at least, trying to. The fire dies down before doing any real damage, causing me to tense. I try again on him, but the same thing happens. And on another rogue. And another. What the fuck? I screech. Nobody but the goddess can make someone immune to your powers, Christian whispers, gritting his teeth. Wrong. The Delta could, if you got enough power, Erebus counters. Delta? Who's the Delta? He's been locked away for centuries, Damon exclaims. He's not anymore, the man says. I look at him with a newfound fear. Whoever the Delta is can't be good. The Delta, little mate, is the moon goddess's counterpart. Every figure in mythology has their counter, their opposite. Well, the moon goddess's nemesis is the Delta. I don't move, unsure of how to approach this situation. After a few beats, I finally speak. What do you want? He scoffs. What does every mate want? I shrug. I've always needed a lot of persuading before wanting a mate. I realize that's the wrong thing to say when his gaze darkens. Well, here's my form of persuasion, Amira. I have the most precious 